All right, y'all, this 5.3 right here came straight out the scrap, y'all. All I know about it is that it ain't locked up. Let's go ahead and see if I wasted my time hooking this thing up to my little engine run stand or not. Let's go ahead and talk about this engine run stand for a sec. Pretty simple design, y'all. Start with the base from Harbor Freight. This ain't nothing but a carpet to dial it. We got a two and a half gallon fuel cell, a low pressure fuel pump, a MSD 6014, a switch that controls this and this fuel pump at the same time, a push button to activate starter solenoid. We got a battery, of course. We got a ground straight to the block. We got a hot going straight to the starter. And then we got our wire that traces back going to our push button. We also got the fuel line coming out of the fuel cell with a little filter right here through the pump. Trace it back straight to the carburetor. Speaking of carburetor, we got this thing topped with a Jag 750 double pumper. Sitting on top of a Holly single plane intake. We got the stock call pack on either side. And pretty much all you got to do to wire this thing, y'all, is you need a, a hot and a ground for this. You simply plug these call packs in. Ground that right there. Plug the cam sensor in. Plug the crank sensor. And this coolant temp sensor. And you flick that thing, and your motor should fire right up. Quick little tech tip, y'all. I screwed the all pressure gauge right here. And on the LS engine, if you don't see at least 20 pounds at idle, shut that mother freaking down. Oh, yeah. And can't forget the most important part. What holds this all together is just a LS engine storage stand. You can find these things anywhere on the internet with wheels y'all the reason i built this engine run stand is because i'm getting ready to be going through buying and rebuilding ls engines camming them resealing them all pump making sure they got compression all that and selling them but before i sell them i want to make damn sure that these things run and do what they're supposed to do right that's that's just a that's just a no-brainer you know so that's why i got this going y'all in case y'all were curious also, and I can test my own motors. Like, I'll be able to build that 6.2 and run it before I put it in here. And I know it's going to be making all pressure, making compression. So if it don't start when it's in this truck, I done did something wrong wiring that, you know, or hooking something up. Back to this all pressure gauge, y'all. If that thing don't move when we fire this thing up, we got issues. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's try to crank this thing up. Enough playing around. Um, that might be an issue. Let's go ahead and see what the heck causing a no start condition. Look like everything's hooked up. Let me, let me flip it. All right, we got that. We got power. Grounds up. Oh my gosh, y'all. I had these off and I forgot to plug them back in. Let's try this again, y'all. All right, let's try this again with everything hooked up correctly, y'all. <sighs> Hell yeah, let's go check that all pressure. Let's flip y'all. Supposed to be that low, y'all. Oh well. It's running, and I don't hear the ticking or spinning. Or 
other than that flywheel. She actually sounds pretty good, but we got to get to the bottom of that no oil pressure. All right, y'all, maybe I should have looked over this engine a little further, but I think I see something that ain't something. First thing I see is this seal is all right here, yeah? I don't like that. At least it builds oil pressure when it's uh, revved up, but it's crazy that it has no oil pressure. But the lifters don't tick. <laughs> That's blowing my mind, but I grabbed this thing, y'all. Y'all, that crank got at least 316th of thrust. So that thrust bearing probably ain't looking too good in the FBA, it's me. But dude, it sounds so good, I can't, I can't fathom it. Well, y'all, now that we know this 5.3 runs, not the greatest all pressure in the world, we're going to go ahead, tear this thing open, see if we can get this thing back to hell and possibly even sell it. Catch me on that next episode, y'all. Drop a sub, drop a like, drop a comment. Drop a comment, what kind of cam y'all would like me to put in this little engine right here? And shit, you could buy this thing and I'll bill it for you, y'all. I don't know. Later, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Not too much to the engine stand, right? Pretty simple, pretty cheap. I got most of that besides the MSD thing on eBay. So, looking good. I'm actually going to drop in the description some links to the, to the stuff on this engine run stand, y'all. Later.